Hey kids, it's me, Kit the Explorer, and you're watching Kit Explores. And guess what? We're at a really awesome place today. The Butterfly Pavilion in Westminster, Colorado, and I have three explorer friends who are gonna help me explore this place. Come here, here they are. What's your name? Ellie. Ellie, and what's your name? This is Miles. And what's your name? Titan. Titan. These three explorers and I are gonna check out some amazing animals. Let's go, guys. Come on, follow me. Whoa. What are all these things? That's a beetle. A beetle? What do you guys see? Is that the biggest beetle you've ever seen? Yeah. Ellie. Can you tell me about bugs? What do you know about bugs? Well, they need like a lot of um, things is to survive with. Did you know that bugs are invertebrates? So are spiders and lots of animals in the ocean like crabs and 97% of Earth's species are invertebrates, which means they don't have a backbone. Do you have a backbone? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So does Titan. So does Miles, and so do I, and you do too. Should we take a look at some of these bugs? Why don't you guys go and find your favorite bug, and then we'll come around and ask you why the bug you found was your favorite. Go find your favorite bug. Hey, explorers. They've found the bugs that they like, Titan, tell me why you like that bug. Because it's yellow? And Ellie, what bug did you find? Can you tell me about it? It looks really cool. You think it looks really cool? Yeah. Let's find out what kind of bug this is. Okay. It looks like this bug is a South American cockroach. The South American cockroach is the biggest cockroach in the world. And they can even fly. Tell your mom that and she might oh, faint. That's a big cockroach. And the kind of bug that Titan was looking at, these are white-eyed assassin bugs. And they use a structure called a rostrum in their mouth to suck fluids out of their prey. Icky. Speaking of prey and spooky bugs, I think we're gonna go check out Rosie the Tarantula. And here at the Butterfly Pavilion, they let you hold Rosie the Tarantula. Would you like to hold Rosie, Ellie? Why not? They're my worst nightmare. They're probably my worst nightmare too. Spiders are kind of scary, but we're gonna go find out about why that might not be the case in every situation. Let's go. This is Rosie the Tarantula. She's very, she's, she's very a nice, nice spider. She's not gonna do anything to it. Yeah, she's such a nice spider. Yeah, okay, let's Look. do a high five first. Can you high five Rosie? Did you feel her? <gasps> Can I put her on there now? You have to hold still because we don't want Rosie to fall yeah, down. Hold Look still. That. You're doing it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. She's just walking with her little legs. There you go. Wow. You good, job. good job. High five, Miles. Here, I got a sticker for you. Now it's Titan's turn. I'll fall down, okay? Then she might walk on it. But is that okay? Yeah, okay. you're okay. Yeah, she might move her legs, but she's not going to do anything to you. Rosie doesn't do anything to people. Look She's just that. a nice Good. spider, yeah. huh? Wow, isn't she pretty? Look at her eyes right here. She has eight eyes and a tiny bump. Yeah, there you go. Do you want to try Ellie? Yeah. Ellie's going to try it next. Ellie? Okay. She's really very nice. Yeah, she's a nice spider. Wow. Now, I'm gonna hold Rosie the tarantula and then we're gonna go explore some butterflies. All right. Okay, you're in the right hand. Look, okay, right hand. Uh -huh. Wow, Rosie feels so light in my hand. Rosie has claws on her little feet and she's hanging on. Can you see how? The, oh, I, I can, can see that, yeah. Sometimes I can get it on there. Got a claw wow. On Do you have any questions for that, Rosie? How old is Rosie? Well, Rosie's between 8 and 18. I don't know exactly. We work wow. with them from 8 to 18. When they're 8, they're mature. And when they're 18, around here, they get to reach 
retire, they don't have to come out here anymore, and they could live to be 20 or 30 years old. The females wow. like this. We only work with the females. That's amazing. Thank you for showing me, Rosie. You're very welcome now. Yeah, I'll take a sticker. Very good. This is my sticker that I got, Explorers, for holding Rosie the Tarantula. She wasn't actually scary at all. I'm going to put it right there, and now we're going to go explore some butterflies. Come on, Miles. Hey, guys. Do you think we should go explore some butterflies next? Yeah. Let's go. Bees. Miles spotted some bees in a tree. Come look. All those bees are busy buzzing around and making honey. Did you know that honeycomb, those little holes that the bees live in, is where they store honey? You guys, should we pretend to be bees? Let's pretend to be bees, everybody. Let's go. I think it's time for us to go and explore some butterflies. Let's go check out the pavilion, explorers. Come on. Woohoo! Whoa! On our way in, we're gonna take a look at some ocean life. Here is an African red knob starfish. It's a predatory starfish. That means that it eats other invertebrates, like other starfish. And this right here is a really cool lionfish. Did you know that lionfish have barbs on their body that can sting you if you touch them? Wow, isn't he beautiful? Oh, and look at this. This is the strangest crustacean I've ever seen. We've got oh, some really cool helpers here at the Butterfly Pavilion that are helping Ellie and Titan touch some starfish. Let's check it out. Actually, can you make a hook, buddy? Can you make a pirate hook? There you go. Awesome. Now use the back of your finger so that way we don't hurt the starfish. Can you make a little hook like a pirate arm? Right? And then you're just going to go just like this. They're explaining that starfish don't have bones. And so they don't call them fish, they call them sea stars now. Science is always changing. Explorers, we are gonna check out the butterflies now. Come on. Hey Ellie, I have a question for you. What do you think about this butterfly wall? Well, it's like there's a lot of types of like um, butterflies that are really pretty. There are lots of different types of butterflies that are really pretty, and we're gonna ask Titan which one his, is his favorite and why? Titan, come here. Which butterfly is your favorite? Um, that one. That one? Why do you like that one? Um, it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Now guess what? We're gonna go in and see some live butterflies. When these butterflies die, they mount them so that we can continue to enjoy them even after their life has ended. But in here, there are lots of live butterflies. Let's go check them out. Come on, explorers, let's go. Oh, I see the butterflies flying around inside. Are you ready? ready? Everybody run in really fast. Go, go, go. Come on. Whoa, explorers. This place is beautiful. There's butterflies flying around all over the place. Let's go explore some butterflies. Come on, explorers, let's run. Come on. Ooh, look at this butterfly canopy. From this canopy, we can look out into the forest and see all the different types of butterflies that are flying around. Can you spot some butterflies, explorers? There's one right there. Can you help me spot some butterflies, guys? There's some up there. There's a butterfly. Do you see that one? Come close and take a look. Whoa. So 
so beautiful. Can you guys find some butterflies? Go see if you can find some. We're gonna explore and see what we can find. Oh, Titan saw one, it's right there. This is the one that Titan found. This is a pretty one. Come on, I think Ellie might have found one. <gasps> I see three butterflies. One, two, and three. Look at these big butterflies that Miles and Ellie found. They're eating right now. Did you know that butterflies eat old fruit? These butterflies are eating some fruit. And this one's saying hi to me. Wow. Butterflies have a proboscis, which is kind of like a tongue or a big long straw that they extend to drink nectar out of flowers or to drink fruit like this. Mmm, how tasty. Do you think it would be tasty to be a butterfly and live off of fruit and flowers? What do you think, Ellie? I think it would like be like fun like flying around like you're a butterfly and looking for things is. It would be fun to fly around and look for things to eat. Should we pretend to be butterflies and fly around? Yeah. Let's pretend to be butterflies. Ready? Get your wings ready. Let's be butterflies together. Yeah! We have one more thing to show you guys at home, and it's fascinating, the life cycle of a butterfly. So follow me, and we're gonna take a look at what this animal looks like before it becomes a butterfly. Let's go, explorers. Did you know that every butterfly and moth starts its life out as a teeny tiny little egg and then it turns into a larva or a caterpillar. The caterpillar crawls around and chomp, 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 munches on tasty leaves until it gets big enough to become a pupa. A pupa, you can see, looks like this. Inside the pupa, the caterpillar is turning into a butterfly. And when it's ready, it comes out of the pupa, or chrysalis, and flies around. And that's the end of the butterfly's life cycle. And he flies around and finds fun things to eat and nectar to drink. And those things are really cool and very beautiful. Well, explorers, we had a fun, fun time at the Butterfly Pavilion in Westminster, Colorado. I think we'll see you guys later. Be sure to subscribe to Kit Explores. You can follow us on Instagram or on Twitter at Kit Explores. Should we wave bye to the kids at home? Bye! Bye everybody, thanks for watching. A what? You wanna explore some more? Let's go explore some more. Let's see what we can find here.